at JNM 1000, at JNM 1000 talk show. And it's snowing here in London. Oh my goodness, look at that quick snow coming down right now, right outside my window. I'm watching the snow. <laughs> Don't ask me what the weather is like here in London. Just see it for yourself. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I am just like, oh my goodness me. Anyway, snow, 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 snow. Some like the snow. Some like the snow. It's really snowing down here. I don't know where you are, but that is it. Snow, 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 snow. Snow, snow, go away. Snow, snow. Little children are looking at the snow. <laughs> anyway, happy, happy weekend, everyone. <laughs> this is what is happening where I am. Peter Black, lovely to see you. Daryl, it's snowing. Is it snowing in your part? <laughs> That's what is happening outside my window. <laughs> anyway, just enjoy it. Ah, you're not going to see me. I just thought, ah, my goodness me. <laughs> right, time to go and make a cup of tea or oh, hot chocolate. What are you having? Hot chocolate? I'm going to make my hot cup of hot chocolate. Let me spoil myself this Sunday. Oh, there's a beautiful bird over there. Oh, my goodness me. I don't know if you can see that. It is really snowing. It's getting heavy and heavy. For Kenyans, right? You can see right down there. Oh, yes. It's really moving fast now. You can see it's getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Getting really heavy. Capturing right that outside my area. Clinton E. Nelson, thanks for joining us. And of course, back and on. It's snowing here. It reminds me of Christmas songs. Indeed. Capturing it right down there. Don't know about your back garden, but this is London. And it's snowing heavily right now at this moment. It's just started snowing. And I could feel that cold and heat. But all the heaters are on here. And this is to capture for the little children down in Kenya right now. My sister, show this to my niece, uh, to my nephew actually, he's younger. Show this, he loves to watch snow. So there you go. I should download this video for him to watch. He's always asking me, Auntie, how is snow? There you are. To my lovely nephew. This is for you. You always like to ask me how is snow with Megan. So this is to Junior. Same here in Coventry. Shiko Kamunge says Coventry. What time did it start? Tell us what time it started. So this one I'm just capturing for my nephew. And I thought, let's share news, breaking news. London is snowing. Breaking news. London is snowing. Snow, 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 snow. Go away. <laughs> Just capturing some of that. I better go back in now. See you later, everybody. It's getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Don't worry. My hand is moving too much today, I know. But let's capture that snow. Same here in Coventry. Send pictures. Take a picture. Um, Shiko Kamunge, take a picture and then send it to this video underneath my comment. When I finish this video, Shiko Kamunge, send what is, send the snow in, um, send the pictures that you've captured and just send them to me underneath this video, please. Let people see Coventry. This is in um, London. This is, uh, I believe, uh, this is um, in Islington, Hackney area. It's really moving fast, as you can see. That is London weather. Speak soon, everyone. Happy, happy, happy Sunday, everybody. Indeed. At g 1000 Talk Show, the number one talking show right down in London. At j &M.
1000 please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel help me by subscribing to my youtube channel and all you've got to do is send me your pictures councillor kangeve elizabeth kangeve says send us some our end kwetu hakuna elizabeth kangeve says it's not in her area she's in the um, backing area side so snow is not in backing i believe it should be moving i can see the clouds moving so it should reach your end perhaps in the next one to two hours because i can see the clouds are moving very fast so it has arrived in our area here so let's give it some time you should have it perhaps in the next one to two hours it should arrive that is when you hear clouds move you know that geography everybody we used to be told i remember my geography teacher we had nicknamed him i tell you what when children are in school they can be very naughty in our class we had nicknamed our teacher who was a geography teacher and he enjoyed to be called mahogany so i can't even remember his real name because all i knew he was called is mahogany teacher his children children can be naughty right it's feeling really heavy you can see it's really really getting heavy you can see it started light and within a few minutes it's really gone heavy so i'll need to scrape all that off and you know i love these uh, what do they call it uh, sometimes you have to scrape things out so this is what they call scraper and then when it all goes down you have to have some wax this is why you see people hire gardeners in london and i understand the meaning of why people have gardeners because the work can get too much, you know. Ah, Nakwambia Mzungu is really good uh, to, to know. <laughs> Somebody said, yes, speak Swahili. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Nakwambia, <they, laughs> when you, you, you definitely need a gardener when you get all this. It, it, it makes the garden, all the leaves go down. All you just see is shrubs and the, the, the leaves will be falling down in your garden. Like I see, the garden just looks like anyhow. And indeed, it just costs money and sometimes you have to get a gardener and you can truly understand why a gardener and the meaning of a gardener, why people get gardeners. You can see what I'm talking about. Gardeners, I need a gardener at some stage, not now, but usually you do a gardener and the gardener is needed for summertime because this is what you have to go through winter. You can see the cold, miserably. Uh, uh, weather sometimes and you know there's this song that has been produced by some kenyans from um minnesota i believe and i'll put the song down here and that song has made kenyans it's actually a hit song right now and what they're talking about is the snow in america so i thought about them as well while i was doing this video and i wasn't expecting it to snow i just turned here i just you know i usually open my curtains and I was just watching and enjoying my songs as I would normally do. And um, I just saw it starting dripping. I thought, oh my goodness me, it is actually snowing today. It was very cold yesterday. I could feel the cold. And um, yes, can I welcome uh, Moses Night Speed here right now. And DJ Silver Davis right now. Karibuni, karibuni sana. Katika kipindi changu at JNM 1000 Talk Show, the number one talking show right down in London. No, today nobody's going to see me. I'm just in the mood of showing people uh, the garden. So this is what happens in the garden. This is my backyard, the backyard, my backyard. Oh, yes, it needs attention. I know I need all the help you can see at some stage. You look at that dry leaf there. It all falls out everything it needs to be done but during summer it's beautiful but right now it is so miserable as you can see so nobody should ask me how is it like you can't even sit there is a chairs over there as you can see but you can't even sit can't sit outside what are you talking about this is why sometimes you know the weather in africa is so beautiful when i see people in mombasa Sometimes you just feel like, oh, I wish I'm there. You know what I'm talking about? And that is why we like to go to Spain and jump and dance and everything. Yes. Oh, no, we have some beautiful days. The parks in London are very beautiful. Beautiful parks we've got in London. And we thank God for that because you can go 
sit down in a park and really really have a good time in many of our parks here in london so indeed no not now you can't go out how do children play outside when it's snowing well when it's not cold some parents choose to go out and play with the kids but i think that's more american more than it is in uk i believe but that is i think am i correct to say that councillor kenyeve i believe that but the snow that you get these days is not as much as it used to be long time ago perhaps that's due to climate issues but right now for a while now we haven't seen snow but right now we've got that snow as you can see so are we saying climate issues maybe we are doing something right but uh, i'm pleased a lovely day today quiet and whenever i see the snow it just means silence quiet you know just quiet yes it is really really getting heavy but this video is really really for my nephew i'm dedicating this to nephew my little nephew junior because the discussion is going to be telling me oh auntie auntie is going to be saying auntie Snow ikoaje? That's what he will ask me. <laughs> there you are. Then I don't need to explain more. <laughs> you can see it right down behind my backyard. There you go. And of course, to my niece, Megan. There you are. I'm going to be saying to you all, have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. And until then, share your photos wherever you are. Take a photo, I will put send, and if you can't share it, send it to my messenger, then I will know how to add it from your end. And tell us where you've taken that photo from, and I'm absolutely delighted that you've all joined in at JNM 1000 Talk Show, right down in London. Exactly, it's going to 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. here in London, outside my backyard. It is really, really heavy here, as you can see. <laughs> okay, somebody says I should talk about um, what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> what I'm thinking about right now, I'm thinking about when is this snow going to disappear? <laughs> that's when I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking about. And I'm thinking about, well, maybe it means that we are all staying indoors and this is perhaps something nice because it makes us all stay indoors and we've got COVID-19. Perhaps it will help us um, to reduce this COVID-19 because nobody goes out. As we are told, stay indoors. So stay indoors. So maybe it's playing a beautiful role to make sure we have stayed indoors. So well done to the weather here tonight or today or this morning or sorry. Well, well done to the weather here this morning at 11 o'clock London time and we are all indoors so let's hope that this week the statistics that will be read for COVID-19 has reduced because we had constantly told that it's going out it's going up because people are outside so Leo Kumenyesha it is really really going heavy so that's just what I'm thinking in my head right now but other than that, let's stay safe, everyone. Be well. Festus again, watching from Kenya. Karibu sana. It's snowing right here in London, as you can see. You've just joined us. So, enjoy the, I don't want to say the miserable weather, but enjoy our beautiful weather as well. Let me say that. Because we do get excited as well when we see the snow, as you can see little things makes me happy sometimes i don't know jacqueline francis she empowers as well lovely to see you is it snowing at your end if it is snowing at your end send me a photo please send me a photo what is happening in your backyard in my backyard it's filling up with snow very very fast and soon i will not be able to see my ground speak soon everyone um somebody wants me to talk about okay i will talk about um mindset that's what i'm gonna talk about 
I'm going to talk about the mindset. So, mindset. How you wake up and how you um, decide to celebrate your day really as well needs to be empowered by yourself. So with a great mindset, you can change the way you feel. So I'm talking about mindset right now. So you can choose to be miserable the whole day or you can choose to just enjoy the weather. So let's talk about mindset. What is your mood like? Do you sometimes just wake up and think about how you're going to um, be or whatever, you know? So you can look at some, for some people, they just look at the weather and they get grumpy and miserable and stuff like that. But there you go. So we're talking about mindset here right now. And I thought to myself, use this as something. Somebody says, you, I shouldn't just, I should talk about something that they love. Look at the way it's so beautiful right now. I'm capturing that. Oh my goodness me. So yes, I'm changing my mood to lovely, lovely, lovely. They're getting really big and flaky, as you can see. Oh yes, they are flaky. So changing mindset is absolutely something wonderful. So sometimes you meet some people and they're so miserable. They can't even say good morning to you or good afternoon to you or good evening to you. And then sometimes you don't know what is happening in their lives as well. So sometimes don't always take it personal. So I'm talking about mindset here tonight or this afternoon or this morning from wherever you are watching me from. Some people are just going to bed. I can see someone from America. Welcome, Nigeria. Welcome, Kenya. I welcome uh, United Kingdom. Many, many people from United Kingdom this morning have joined us. It's just gone three minutes past 11 o'clock right now. And this is still going heavy and going heavy. Coventry, so, uh, Coventry, um, I have been told in Coventry, um, the Shiko Kamunge has told us that in Coventry, they are experiencing the weather. She's going to send us a photo when she has done that. That is beautiful. In parking, Councillor Elizabeth Kangede has joined us and he's saying there is no snow in her area. From my place to her place is about perhaps she's in the east end, I'm in the north end, so it's probably about maybe should I say by vehicle, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes by train. So it's interesting, but I believe the weather is moving very fast and it's moving towards her end. So uh, it looks like the weather passes from my side to move towards her side and that is why it is important to remind us of the geography that we learned. Mr. Mahogany, I remember you right now. That is not me calling him that, but it, he was a very tough teacher. I had a very hard, uh, he used to, you know, in my days, children were, children needed to learn. So he was quite enforcing that children needed to learn geography. So that is why the children nicknamed him. Um, mahogany. It was a girl's school and everybody in the school called him Mr. Mahogany because that's what he liked to call himself because he wanted the children to remember um, a certain tree which was called Mahogany and so he would want us to pronounce that name and so the children had to remember to call him Mr. Mahogany in order for the children to remember to call him Mr. Mahogany <laughs> and to remember what that tree was called. He said, call me Mr. Mahogany. <laughs> I'm telling you, mindset. <laughs> that teacher had a mindset. He knew how to teach the children and he would call himself all kind of things. And it's, the girls would laugh. No wonder we remember that until today. And he would tell us, I remember some of the things he would say, ice bag, the ice bag. And that time you're in Kenya, you don't know what ice looks like.